Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's VAR 20 wall in Revit. Here I am in Revit 2016. And if I look at this object, it is a curtain wall exterior glazing. When we go to use this tool to create a wall, it actually builds the wall for us and puts in the shape of the barrels. How did this happen? If I select it and go to its type properties, you'll see that we have a curtain panel that's custom that's placed in here and swapped out. There is spacing for vertical and horizontal grids and no vertical or horizontal mullions. So let's drill down into the families and look at the curtain panels. You'll see barrel tile one. Let's edit this family. This will open up the family file itself. And if we look at it in 3D, it's nothing more than a blend. How did this blend get created? If we go to the floor plan view and select it, we can click edit the uh, blend, modify that blend. We can edit the top or the base. If I click edit the top, it's this shape here on a particular reference plane. If I select edit base, it's a different barrel um, on a different plane. And if I look at it in 3D and zoom in, you can see that if I click edit the top, there's a different one. And so it's nothing more than two profiles blended together. If we need to, we can also click and go into the materials and force it to be a specific material like Spanish tile, which is what I've created here. When it's all said and done, you take it, you save it, you load it into the project. And when you're back here in the project, select that curtain wall and go under curtain panels and swap it out for the one that you created earlier. Uh, and that's it. And that's how you use it. That's how you make it. And that's for you, let's say, working with a wall. What about maybe for a roof? I'll do this in another screencast. So thanks for watching my screencast today. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.